Are you familiar with how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly? It's amazing to see how nature changes a caterpillar to a butterfly. Stick with me on this, it will be worth your time. The life cycle of a butterfly not only fascinates, but the life cycle of butterfly in real life can serve as an analogy to the hierarchy of social development, sometimes referred to as the Marvin Marshall hierarchy. Once young people understand the basics of building a hierarchy, then their physical growth can be compared to a butterfly's life cycle. With this understanding, they become empowered to act more responsibly and reduce their stress and the stress of others with whom young people interact. The four stages of the life cycle of a butterfly can be related to the four physical states of human development and the hierarchy of social development. Begin by reminding young people of the life cycle of a butterfly. There are four stages of development, egg, caterpillar, pupil, and butterfly. Butterflies are in the some stage of their physical growth process, but have no control through the process. With the life cycle of a butterfly in mind, comparing the butterfly's life cycle to that of humans, we can conclude that humans also go through four basic stages as well. We call them baby infant, child youth, adolescent teen, and adult grown-up. Humans like butterflies have little control over stages of their physical development. Now look at the four stages of social development in which a person and or a society could operate. Compare what a human and a society in anarchy would look like and how such a situation would be so hopeless. Then talk about what would likely occur to remedy the problems of an anarchy-based society. Someone would rise up and take control of the situation, therefore bossing, and that may or not be a good thing. Look at countries around the world where this might be happening. Next, move on to looking at the level of control or power in a group of friends. A group of friends work together to share control based on what they agree is their mission. And that oftentimes this mission and the group control is not ever discussed. It is more or less just understood among the group members. Then have a discussion of blind conformity. You would see how this type of cooperation is not necessarily good. Then continue to look at how being considerate of others and cooperating for the right reasons results in a democratic society. Doing what is right because it is the best thing to do is a much higher level of development than doing what is right as a result of peer pressure. Finally, talk about how people have more control over their stages of social development than over their stages of physical development. The thought of being in control over something about themselves always heightens interest in the hierarchy of social development. Can you see the difference between level C, cooperation, conformity, and level D, democracy, taking the initiative to do what is right, regardless of peer influence? So here's a tip. Use this butterfly analogy to explain the physical and social development of humans. For an even better understanding, view the narrated video poem in episode 58. By the way, Ryan Cleck of The Timeless Family recently wrote me, quote, I really enjoyed Live Without Stress and I've already been able to put your advice into practice with my eight-year-old son. I've been catching myself using coercion and telling way too often. I've been trying to avoid this by giving choices and asking questions, as you suggest. It's actually amazing to see my son's thought process. He's much smarter than I gave him credit for. And by the way, I see your books are available as audiobooks. I'm looking forward to listening to your other books also. End quote. If you would like more insightful tips on how to manage your stress, pick up a copy of Live Without Stress at livewithoutstressbook.com. Invest in a copy for yourself and you will receive a second copy free to give to a friend or family member. Thanks for watching and please share this video with parents you know.